So let's go ahead and take on uh, example on accounting standard number two on valuation of inventories. Now here we go with the question. Esma. Anil Pharma Limited ordered 16,000 kilogram of certain material at rupees 160 per unit. The purchase price includes GST rupees 10 per kg in respect of which full input tax credit ITC is admissible. Point to note. So you, the purchase price given as a rupees 160 per kilogram and this amount includes a rupees 10 per kg GST and uh, you can adjust so you're going to enjoy a credit of rupees 10 right mm. that is input tax credit 10. is available next freight incurred amounted to rupees 1,40,160 okay normal transit loss 2 percentage mm -hmm. the company actually received 15,500 kilogram and consumed 13,600 kilogram of material now what is the C now, what is 16,000 kilograms into 2 percent? It is around uh, 320 kilograms and normal loss. Mm. That means 16,000 minus 320, your company should have received uh, 15,680 kilograms. Mm. But what is the actual quantity received? Only 15,500. That means uh, 180 kilograms is abnormal loss, a loss which could have been avoided, right? Yes. But out of 15,500 kilograms received, 13,600 kilograms have been consumed. already consumed or used in your factory for manufacturing the finished product. Mm. That means leaving a balance of 1,900 kilograms in your stock room. Yes or no? Mm. In your storeroom, you will have 1,900 kilograms of raw material unused. Then, the question. Compute cost of inventory under AS2 and amount of abnormal loss. That's it. You have been asked to value the closing inventory 1,900 kilograms and also find the cost of abnormal loss and what is the treatment. Is that fine? Now let us uh, go ahead and take on the solution, refer to the solution out there. Now first a uh, purchase price. price. It is 16,000 kilograms at rupees 160 per kg. But AS2 very clearly says in case the tax is refundable. That is in other words, you want to enjoy a, input tax an credit. input tax credit. Do not include uh, such taxes. You got to include only the non-refundable taxes as a part of cost of inventory, right? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Now read. So now purchase price 16,000 kilograms into 160, 25 lakh 60,000. Less. Less input tax credit 16,000 kilograms into rupees 10, 1 lakh 60,000. So that 1 lakh and 60,000 should not be a part of cost of inventory removed because you want to enjoy a, a credit anyway. Next. 24 lakh. Then mm -hmm. add freight 1 lakh 40,160. Because that is a cost incurred for a purchase of material, right? If you refer to accounting standard number 2, in that you should refer to para 7 of the standard that will talk about this. That is a purchase price should include uh, all the non-refundable taxes and also any freight or carriage inwards, right? Yes. And all acquisition related uh, cost. Yes ma'am. Total. So, total material cost is 25,40,160. Now, this is a cost for how many kilograms? Should be 15,680 kilograms expected quantity, right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So, the number of units after normal loss, 16,000 kilogram into 98 percentage. Uh, nothing but after minus in 2 percent, yeah. right? Which is uh, 15,680 15, kilograms. Kg, yeah. The now, revised cost per kg mm. 25,40,160 rupees divided by 15,680 kilogram rupees 162. And do not uh, divide by 15,500. If you do that, you will inflate the cost further. It will become 163 something and you will be charging your customer for it, for your fault. Is that fine? Yes, sir. Therefore, please remember we have done this, you would have done this in process costing also. Mm. in cost accounting. So, divide your cost by expected uh, quantity which is 15,680 kilograms. 
How much you get? Rupees 162 per kg. Now next. Closing inventory. Material actually received minus material used. 15,500 minus 13,600 kilogram, which is 1,900 kilogram. Unused material, kilograms, that and to rupees 162 per kg. So, How value of closing inventory, 1,900 kilogram into 162 rupees, 3,7,800. And that is your closing inventory of raw material. Okay. Abnormal loss in kilograms. Very simple. We know 180 kilograms abnormal loss. And that into rupees of 162 per kilogram. How much you get? 29,160. And remember, as per accounting standard 2, if you refer to para 13 of the standard 13, they say very clearly any abnormal wastage of resources should be charged to profit and loss account. They haven't given here. Hmm. Because you haven't asked, so only value the abnormal loss. We can write a note, this 29,000, how much? 160 will be charged or debited to your profit and loss account. It is a loss to be borne by the enterprise, by Anil Pharma. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, guys. So, very important sum. Please mark it and work it out. Yes, sir.